Hi guys, Zori Mori here. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Today I have for you a unboxing and try on video. I'm gonna share with you pieces I got by Cezanne and and other stories. I know many of you are here for the Cezanne part of the video, but stick around. I promise the and other stories pieces are really, really good. In fact, you might have seen previews of them in my Facebook group. If you're not part of it yet, I'm gonna link to it in the description of this video. I share content on there daily. It's related to fashion and personal style things like new brands that I discover, sales, restocks, gossip related to Suzanne's new collections. I hope to see you on there. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I would love to see you around more. And now let's get into today's video. I'm gonna start with these booties. When I saw them, my heart skipped a beat. I love the design. It's a classic silhouette, but then there are all these cool details like the square toe, the deep lacing. You have a zipper, just amazing. I could not pass on them. When I received them, I was so happy with the quality. The leather is really buttery soft and the height of the heel is just perfect. You can walk in them all day long and your feet would not be dead. I love these so much that I also got them in black. I just could not resist. Black is such a classic color. I think the green is more playful and the black is very chic. I can't wait to style it. It does have a little bit more of an edge because with the black, I think the corset like lacing um, stands out. However, I have a lot of florals and a lot of flowy materials, which I think will pair really well with this aesthetic. And to show you just how I committed I am to this design, I also got it in white. The white ones are from Revolve. Uh, Nordstrom did not carry the white ones or maybe they were long gone when I was shopping. So they were not showing as an option. I got these from Revolve. They're still available in many sizes. I'm gonna link them in the description below. Hurry up if you want to own a pair. But yeah, I am really looking forward to wear the white ones in the summer with dresses, kind of like cottage core aesthetic, San Francisco summers are not really for sandals so I've always um, wanted like boots that look really romantic and will pair well with dresses so here they are this here is the Scott trench coat size 34 my usual size from Cezanne if you've been following me for a while you probably know that I have another trench coat It's by Everlane that one is longer it's a thinner material and it's also not cinched around the waist I've been enjoying wearing that one and that made me want to invest in a piece that's more classic it has the classic trench coat silhouette my only complaint about this coat is the lining is not light blue gingham and the reason why i'm quoting this very specific lining is because last summer when i was in paris i saw this very same trench coat at the Cezanne store and it has the light blue gingham lining and i loved it i thought it was such a flirty fun romantic little um, detail that they changed to make it their own but apparently that's an old design that's been discontinued so now you just get like the classic neutral lining this here is the pink corduroy wheel jacket. This one is lined and the lining inside is sewn in. The lining around the collar, it's detachable. I really like this detail. There are these little buttons here. You can kind of snap them off and you can take this off when it starts getting warmer. That's a great little hack that you can do. I went with size extra small, which is the size I always choose for wheel jackets. If you don't have a wheel jacket, think of it like this. If you're gonna wear it over thin layers, like the top I'm wearing right now, go with your usual size, in my case, extra small. But if you wanna wear it over chunky sweaters, then size up so you can have more freedom in the arm area. After I got the pink one, they released a brown one or more like they released the brown one first, but then it sold out. Then they released the pink one and I got it. And then this one got restocked, so I got it too. I am committed to only keeping one and I need your help. Let me know in the comment section below if I should keep the pink one or the brown one. Again, this is line jacket. The inside lining is sewn in. The collar lining is removable and size is extra small. I want to bring these products to your attention. Here I have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and La Mer Eye Concrete. 
These products came recommended to me by a friend. She spends a lot of time researching skincare. I'm not a beauty expert or a skincare guru, but I love using high quality products on my skin. The fewer, the better. I try to do the Korean seven step beauty thing that you do every night and I just can't keep up with it. And traveling with seven, seven products is just too much. So these two, very simple. I alternate between the two. I do one night these and one night this. And I already see the effects. It's been a few weeks and I feel like I wake up, my skin is more fresh. I tend to have like dark circles underneath my eyes and I, I feel like just my skin is brighter all around. Henry has gotten a whiff of the quality of these products. Now he's using them as well. And he said something really funny last night. He was like, oh my God, my skin feels very scaly because I forgot to use the, the night repair serum. And it, it's true, he likes it, I like it. And if you're on the market for something that feels really good, definitely check out these two products. Here I have size two jeans by Another Stories. This silhouette is like a sailor pen, is an A-line, really fun for spring. You can pair it with sneakers, with sandals, and it looks really cute with clogs. You have pockets at the front, no pockets at the back. And yeah, I can't wait to style these. They go with so many things. Every year when spring rolls around, I feel like wearing overalls. This is size two, designed by Another Stories. I really like this cut. It's like a sailor pan, high-waisted. It makes your booty look so good. I like classic overalls, which can be a hit or miss. They kind of have more of a mom jean fit. These fit really, really good. You have deep pockets at the front. You have this pocket over here. You have pockets at the back. You also have these straps that you can wear straight or you can uh, crisscross them. This here might be the perfect white shirt. It totally reminds me of something you would see on the Zidane website, but it is an Outer Stories. I went with size zero, which is my usual size for tops from an Outer Stories. The detailing on the collar is fantastic. Down the front also really beautiful. The back is simple no details there you have gathering on the shoulder but it's very subtle don't be terrified i know when you think of a gathering on the shoulder it could get bulky so when you wear a jacket you're uncomfortable this is not like that it's very subtle and you won't feel that it's there and going down the sleeve this is the end of the sleeve which makes it perfect for wearing underneath cardigans or sweaters this will be kind of like a little peekaboo moment. The lace is so beautiful. I am in love with the shirt. This blouse is made out of 100% organic cotton. It's really soft to the touch, really light and airy. The fabric has a really great detail when you look at the way it's weaved. Pattern made out of small hearts. You have ruffles along the neckline, but because of the way they're executed, they're very subtle. This top will be easy to style many different ways and I can't wait to wear it. This blouse here is the same as the navy one I just showed you, but instead of little hearts, we have heart-shaped strawberries. Because of the colorway of the blouse, you can see more of the detailing of the weave. Very soft, very airy. The ruffle along the neck with the strawberry pattern just makes it really flirty. And I am at a crossroad here. You need to help me. Do I keep the strawberry or do I keep the navy? Which team are you? All right, guys, this is it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of today's pieces? Which are your favorite? Are you considering adding any of them to your closet? I want to know. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I would love to see you around more. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.